Hey, what's up? It's Jim, and I just got back from the new film, Nonstop, an international flight from New York to London in which a federal air marshal, Liam Neeson, is traveling, and suddenly he starts getting texts on his phone that an evil villain will start killing a person on the plane every 20 minutes unless he gets $150 million transferred into his secret bank account. And Liam Neeson has to find this evil villain person, but he's not sure who on the plane this person could possibly be. And he isn't even sure if the person is lying until they start killing people off and Liam Neeson knows that something isn't right. And that the bank account that the villain has given him the account number for is in his name as the villain both tries to frame him and keeps killing people until he can get the 150 million dollars so Liam Neeson must both clear his name and try to save this plane and all the passengers from being killed. I had very low expectations for this movie and it's directed by this director Jume Colette Sura, probably pronouncing his name very poorly. He's a Spanish director. His last film he made with Liam Neeson called Unknown I really didn't like and that's another high concept action movie with Liam Neeson. And that was pretty much a cheesy kind of B-movie concept done wrong and Nonstop is the exact opposite of that because it's a lot of fun. This is the reason you go and see big budget cheesy almost B-action movies because you had fun at them and I think Nonstop is kind of a stellar example of a good genre piece and and part of me thinks it's really in the genre of Liam Neeson movies, Liam Neeson action movies, starting with Taken, and usually it's Liam Neeson has a notorious past and he's trying to overcome it in his current position and through his current predicament. It really does fall under that, but it also kind of plays in that whole genre that Airplane actually made fun of, which I'm kind of surprised anyone would take on an Airplane picture after, you know, films like Airplane or even Almodovar's recent film, I'm So Excited, a genre that's been so parodied that he found a way to actually work and not be laughable. This film keeps piling on ridiculous twists and plots. There's so many different individual minor characters, but they all have their own little thing. They're all, they all have a certain personality trait to differentiate themselves. You have like Corey Stahl from House of Cards who plays a New York City cop. You have another character who Liam Neeson cut in front of in the security checkpoint coming into the airport. You have Julianne Moore's character. You have this little girl. You have Michelle Dockery from Downton Abbey who's the flight attendant. You have Lupita Nyago who plays third flight attendant from the left. Or Scott McNary plays a teacher. They all have very different little personality traits so you can keep track of them as an audience and kind of understand those characters. So it's really actually a smartly done little genre piece. When you look at an older Hollywood film where you had a huge group of people, even if they were stuck on a plane or whatever, if it's the Poseidon Adventure, Shelley Winters had a different personality than everyone else who was in the Poseidon Adventure, and she looked different from everyone else. And they certainly do that in this film. It's all in one location. I mean, certainly they're cheating and they're using a lot of movie magic, but it's still very limited. It's still very small in scope for where they're shooting. Most of it takes place on the plane, but it still holds that suspense and grabs you as an audience because you kind of feel like you know, even though it's like a select group of passengers you actually kind of know as an audience, but they're large enough that you kind of have more of an investment in it. It's important to have those things because it gives you kind of a little bit of personality and that's something you can latch on to and understand. And Nonstop gets that very well. It also, I think Nonstop gets how to be a cheesy movie that totally falls into all these cliches. There's a certain fun to that and there's a certain skill to that. I think sometimes there's a lot more skill than all those people who are making like a machete kills or something. Most people would do this in a more of a tongue-in-cheek way. Often when I see a bad movie I think of like what the parody would be like, how this is so ridiculous. I wasn't thinking about that because I was so wrapped up in it because it felt like a good cheesy action movie and even though it kept bringing on complications, he's being framed. Oh, he's getting the passengers involved. Oh, he thinks it might be this person. He thinks it might be that person. And the script actually does a pretty good job that the people I thought who it might be weren't. And it kept my idea of who it might be kept changing as I watched it. When it does turn out who it was, it's not like that surprising because it is obviously one of the people who you've been following throughout the movie but it would be really interesting if you know you had all these kind of more anonymous faces who was someone who just popped up out of nowhere but actually now that I'm saying that that would be utterly ridiculous it was like it was me all along and it's like Timothy Dalton 
pops up with a mustache. The fact that I had such low expectations, especially of the kind of Liam Neeson action movies. The only ones I really liked are Taken and The Grey, and neither of them I like that much. There's been all this appreciation of him taking on this action role. And I remember hearing a story that he was supposed to be Lincoln for years and years. Spielberg was like, Liam Neeson's going to be Abe Lincoln, and then he didn't want to because he wanted to be a movie star. You know, after the death of his wife and everything, he wanted to have fun. And this embraces that phase in his career. This embraces the whole idea of like, he just wants to make fun movie star kind of movies. The way this director directed this film and the way Liam Neeson used this with his like star power action movie charisma really got this film to sing and the audience I saw it with loved it. And I had a great time and I was surprised how much I got into it. I didn't even notice that by the end I was like, oh wow, I really have to pee. I was just like really invested. It's not an amazing film. It's not gonna like wow you and go like, oh, I have to see a million different action movies. I have to see as many, you know, Die Hard on a plane movies as I possibly can, which I think Die Hard 2 already did, but whatever. It's just simply fun to see generic Hollywood crap kind of actually work and be that successful entertainment thing that it actually wants to be. And this film did annoy me in places. I don't like the thing in Hollywood movies where they have everything out of focus but like one thing or they do the shaky cam, which they did both at one point. So it's like, ugh, nonstop is really good at being this kind of weird genre mashup of both an airplane in crisis movie and a Liam Neeson movie. And it does so in a perfectly entertaining way. This director throws himself into making just like a cheesy, entertaining, be sort of, you know, big budget action movie. But it does so in a very very amazing way. It builds and builds and builds and even though I know it's stupid, I go along with it. And that's what a good stupid Hollywood movie is really supposed to do. This is a fine, perfect example of the genre. And I think that's why you want to see genre films, is to see fine little examples of it. And Nonstop is a perfect example of, of a dumb, stupid, uh, silly, entertaining Hollywood genre. So if you have seen Nonstop and you would like to talk about it, then comment below in the comments and subscribe if you would like to.